Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I'm going to talk about the basics of creating Desmos art. After I published this video, the link in the description below, um, I received a lot of emails about how to create such a piece of math art. And I decided to record video series about Desmos. There are some videos on YouTube, but none of those videos are showing step-by-step -step procedures about creating Desmos art, and I will do it for you guys. So let's get started. <music> Okay, this is the first video of Desmos art video series and in this video we are going to focus on lines and circles and you can use these two things to create basic Desmos art. Okay, let me open the graphing calculator and start working. First of all, open your internet browser and search for Desmos. Choose Desmos graphing calculator and here it is. I definitely recommend you to sign in or log in Desmos. It's really important because it lets you save your graphs. Um, you can access your saved work here. Just click this um, three line icon on the left top corner and they will appear here. Let's start a new project. I will name it as Mathematics because I am going to graph my channel logo. But before I do this, I want to show you basic things about lines. Linear equations have slopes and y-intercepts. They are super important. For example, this is the line we have y equals 3x plus 2. 3 is called slope and 2 is y-intercept. If I change the value for slope, it changes the steepness of the line. It increases the slope or decreases it. And if I change the y-intercept, the graph moves right, left, up, down, just like that. Okay, here are how lines work. Most of the time we need a line segment, not the whole line, so we need to write restrictions for domain or range. It means we need to limit x or y values. We can do that by using curly brackets. It is next to the letter P, if you have a classic um, US keyboard layout. Let's say x need to be between negative 1 and 2, so this is the line segment. And we can change the values and make them shorter or longer. Okay, these are the basics for linear equations. Now, let's try one very basic Desmos art. I am going to graph Mathematics logo and there is a super cool feature here. You can insert pictures and work on them. If you change the opacity of the image, it's better because you can see the progress clearly. Let me choose a lighter opacity. You see there are different options here. Let's start graphing from one side of the middle triangle. You see guys, the logo has lines, only lines, no curves. So it's easy to um, do this art here on Desmos. The left side, it looks like two, uh, positive to slope. But now let's try to guess y-intercept. If I move it two units left, let's say it is two. Pretty close, but not accurate. I will try using 1.8. Maybe 1.7 give me the best answer. Yes, so 1.7 for slope, 1.7 for y-intercept, I think is the best one. And I can set the domain now. It's gonna be maximum zero and the minimum of something like negative 1.5. Yes, yes, it's good, it's good. And since this picture is symmetric, guys, we can use the same equations uh, and change slope or y-intercept to get other parts of the shape. So for example, if I make the um, slope negative and reset domain, so you see, it gives me the other side of the triangle. This is good. And uh, with the same slope, we have many sides here in this shape. I can go and find other sides as well by just changing slope or y-intercept by just transforming this function. So now if I do plus 2.1, 2.05, I get the other side. So look at this and set the domain. If you want to graph accurately, guys, you can just zoom in and see what the actual point is, or you can work on the details later. So this is what you need to do for linear functions. Again, if you choose a symmetric picture or a logo, guys, you can graph it faster by just changing a few things. Now I can hear the question, should we keep guessing slopes and y-intercepts for every part of the graph? Nope, of course you don't need to keep guessing and testing. You can use sliders. Let me show you now. Um, 
you just, just need to write the standard form of the function you are working and then choose the sliders, then it gives you the graph. So look at this. We are now working on lines, right? And the form of linear equation is y equals mx plus b. m gives you the slope and b gives you y-intercept. Just click this add slider options for m and for b or just click all and it's going to give you guys the sliders by changing slope and y-intercept value you can find the line you need for example let's go back to the left top corner and try to get the slope and y-intercept for that side so you can just move it and find it yep it is pretty accurate if it doesn't give you the the decimal you need you can definitely write that manually the slope is going to be between 0.6 and 0.5. I'm going to write down 0.55 manually because it doesn't give you two decimals. It gives you one decimal. So 5.6, I think 5.6 gives you the best option. And then just put 0.56 for slope, 3.6 for y-intercept, and that's it. This is the line you need. Now you can close sliders, set interval, and then boom, the side is ready. It's really useful guys, because guessing and testing takes time. So by just using sliders, you can find it pretty fast. Okay, this is how we create line segments in Desmos Art. And finally, I want to do um, vertical and horizontal lines. So now let's check this out. You see guys, only the vertical and horizontal parts left. Some people do vertical and horizontal lines in the beginning, some people do it at the end. It doesn't actually matter, it doesn't change anything. It is the easiest part of this um, function. So for vertical uh, lines guys, you just need to write x equals uh, a constant value. So for example, x equals negative 3.5. It gives you the line, that's it. And set the interval. Yep, this is the line segment and copy paste and use for the other side it is symmetric great and for others as well just copy and paste change some values and you are going to get all these uh, vertical lines for horizontal lines you just need to um, use y equals constant value just like this one and then write the interval here so you can just try or zoom in to find the exact position of the point so i think negative 1.45, 4, 7, 4, 5 works great. So this is it. And then copy, paste, and use for others. I think that's all for this one. This is how we can use line segments to create Desmos art. It looks good, but if you just zoom in guys, you can just find some mistakes. You can change the domain and range values and then make it more accurate, make it better. Finally, I will change the line colors and make this all blue. Then you click the settings icon, guys, and choose the color option and choose blue for all. It looks good. Did you like it? I hope you do. The link in the description below and you can click the link and see the original graph and all the functions. Just go online, guys. You can find some pictures, logos with straight lines and start graphing. Try, practice. I believe you will like it. And the next step. Circles. After you understand how to use sliders, you just need equations. Everything will slowly make sense. Everything will be easy. Now, let's create another art um, consisting only circles. Let's create yin-yang um, symbol. It will be super easy. Just, just watch this. It's going to be like four or five circles and we will finish the art piece in a few minutes. To do that, you only need a circle formula and the circle formula is guys r squared is equal to x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. So you see the sliders right here. It is already given. Just choose all and start testing. A moves it right or left, B moves it up and down and R makes the circle bigger or smaller. Okay, let's do this. Let's start with the biggest circle and just, just place it in the middle and do some adjustments. It sometimes takes time to get the best result but yep this is good this is good just write down the slider values and it gives you the equation here now you can use again circle equation and work on other parts of the circles let's work on this little circle at the top okay so the same idea use sliders and get the circle and then write the values for a b and r done that's great you see guys i think you will find it easy you'll find it easy 
Also guys, you see there are semicircles. So you can just use circle formula to do the remaining part of this yin yang symbol. Again, use the same strategy guys, use sliders and get the circle. It gives you the full circle, but we need a semicircle, right? So it means you can just work on um, the domain here or range. So I need X values bigger than zero, that's it. I can copy and paste and then get the other circle. It's super similar, just change, make some transformations and change the domain. It looks good, but there are some adjustments you have to do again, just look closer. Just make this semicircles a little bit smaller, right? Click this and change the radius. Just make it smaller, 2.3, 2.36 or 2.35. Let's try, nope, not 3.6, maybe 3.7. Yeah, yeah, it gives us the best result, 3.7. Yep, great. Let's check the other side, yeah. Now the biggest circle needs to be a little bit smaller. So let's also change this, yep, 7.4. I think 7.4 gives us the best result. Now I want to go and make it black, all the side lengths, and it looks perfect. Let's save it. You can also send this to your friends, your students, your teachers. Just click the share option at the right top corner. It gives you the link and you can copy the link and share it. It is that simple. You can also share it as a picture. Just click this export image icon here and it lets you download the PNG file. You can change the line thickness and do some other settings here. It's good. Let's check this out. Yep, it's a good quality picture. Okay, now it's time for you to try. Find a picture, a logo with circles and straight lines, then graph it. I'm gonna give you two as a homework. Um, try graphing these two. Just search for Dell and LG. Find their logos online and uh, try graphing. Please share the, share the links below and let me see just try, just try and you will definitely like it. Okay, this is the first video. In this video, we talked about lines and circles and don't forget to use sliders. It will help you a lot. And we'll talk about more tips and techniques in the next video. If you like it, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you have any questions, just comment below and let me know. I will be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching Mathematics. Goodbye.